All right, so let's talk about it. I dated this detective in South Carolina, and he worked at the same office location where I worked at. He was playing it kind of coy, kind of cool at first, but then he ended up asking me for my phone number. I gave it to him. All was well with the world. So after a while, though, he came to my house and he just kind of insisted we had sex. Now, he couldn't perform. He couldn't even get himself erect in any way, shape, or form. But what he did do is he started to pay my rent. And so who's kind of like not going to take their rent money. That was fine with me. He paid my rent all he wanted to. But what ended up happening was is I ended up finding out that he had a spouse. He had a fiance. And so when I found out they had a fiance, I kind of pulled back away from him anyway. Well, there were two reasons I pulled away from him. Number one, the first reason was because he couldn't perform sexually and the point was what, you know. And then the second reason was because I figured out that he had a fiance. And so the week that I cut him off, he ended up coming to my house like super drunk, like drunker than drunk. And he had been driving, so he was drinking and driving. And he came to my door and was pounding on the door and he put his foot in it when I opened it up. I opened it for him anyway because he was pounding on it all night long. And he said, oh, if something were to ever happen to you, then nobody would ever suspect me because I am a police officer of the law. I kind of like looked at him, I kind of laughed, and I just puffed my chest up a little bit. Now, I'm not going to say that I wasn't scared, but I will say this. I'm not going to let you know that I'm scared. And so after that, he just went about his way. He went about his business. But I noticed that in the weeks after that, and really kind of in the weeks prior to that, actually, in the weeks prior to that, he would drive by my house and run like the license plates of the people that were in my, like, that were dropping by to come see me. And so he'd call my phone and say, oh, well, who is, let's just say this person's name was Alexander McQueen. 